Hi, my name is Imre. I am one of the founders of HAMS Hunting Area Management System. This is a quick tour of the key features and functions of HAMS. A detailed presentation takes around an hour and a half. In wildlife management, we have to manage three major things. Habitats, game populations, and humans. Bookings help us to manage who is where and when on the land and what is happening. Also, HAMS uses this to visualize the occupancy of the land. Land occupancy is a key feature for syndicates and estates, especially with lettings, helping them to improve the safety and security of the staff and the guests when multiple hunters and shooters are out on the land at the same time. Bookings provide a background for the collection of detailed and accurate data. A booking only requires 40 seconds to do. When closing bookings, user can create a number of reports depending on the harvested species. Each species and each big game requires a separate report. Depending on the settings, a photo proof of the harvest might be mandatory. If the photo contains the GPS coordinates, HAMS reads out the information and attaches the local weather and solar information. If there's no GPS data, HAMS uses the location of the zone as a rough estimation of the harvest. Recording observations is more relaxed compared to reporting because it is often used for population assessment when we have to record a group of animals. The service log is designed to help track the daily tasks and observations of the gamekeepers. For example, reporting poaching incidents or other important information and details related to events and land assets. The major steps of adaptive wildlife management are assess the resources, set the goals, create a plan, record and track the data and changes, analyze the outcome and fine-tune the plan. Let's see how HAM supports planning and tracking changes and outcomes. The plan status interface helps us to monitor our plan and facts. Big game and small game data are separated. We can differentiate the open and enclosed area harvests. All data is available in an easy to understand chart and table format. Setting up an annual harvest plan is simple and easy. Clicking on the Plan Setup tab opens the editable form of the selected year. We can set the stock based on our population assessment and our planned harvest according to our goals and plan. All quarries are listed and divided according to age and sex. We can also plan and track our pest control strategy. Let's see how HAMS uses data to help us understand and analyze our efforts to make better decisions. For this, I am going to open the Stats, Charts and Pressure Maps menu. Firstly, I select the year I want to analyze. For example, I would like to see the successful white boar harvests over a period of time. Or I even can further fine-tune my selection. HAMS is extremely flexible and customizable. Based on the reports, HAMS generates a timeline video of all successful harvests in a selected year. The top list is a motivational tool for pest control. If we want to see species-specific detailed stats, we need to open up the Species tab. Let's see the 2018 numbers again. Due to the African swine fever, there's no limit to boar harvests in Hungary. On the bottom left chart, we see that the estate reached their goal in August. The hunt and shoot stats have been designed to make the personal stats visible. Let's see the stats of a hunter. The custom chart maker has been designed to allow us to compare any dataset to anything else. This way we can produce charts where we can compare 10 years of population data to harvest both in volume and in percentage. 
Hams works with maps of the land. Therefore, if we have a digital map of our land, the only thing we need to do is to upload it. Or we can use our simple custom map editor to draw and edit a map. Hams automatically calculates the size of the land in hectares and acres. Zones are for managing smaller parts and regions. The land manager can set what limitations and restrictions are set for each zone. The color codes distinguish the different types of zones. The zone types are customizable, their name, booking rules and their color is editable anytime. The booking related zone settings are also customizable. Facilities has been designed to manage and mark every important land assets and locations on our land, including feeders, wallows and traps. Trail camps are specially treated facilities in HAMS. The mobile network capable camps are able to send their images directly to HAMS. HAMS then generates daily group timeline videos from the images. Our game recognition engine is capable of identifying the game species and sex. We can also identify humans and humans with guns and based on the booking log, we can automatically identify incidents of poaching. Camps can be set to either public or private. We have two major subscription types in HAMS. One is when the person manages their own subscription, in this case the account belongs to them. The other option is when the estate or syndicate finances a bulk amount of subscriptions. In this case, the accounts belong to the estate or syndicate. When we want to add a new staff or syndicate member to the estate, just click on the invite, type in the email address, set the role of the user, the role matrix helps to see what are the limitations of a role. The rest is managed by HAMS. These are the key features of HAMS, but I could mention our hunt and shoot of our advert platform or the recording of bioindicators, the integrated meat evaluation and trading features that is integrated to the estate cash flow management, or the closed newsfeed section for syndicate members. Hunters and guns are the custodians of wildlife. Our duty is to keep and protect the species and habitats to maintain balanced and healthy animal populations. HAMS is here to support and provide the best of a tool using accurate data. We have to act responsibly because this will protect our heritage and the world we live in.